Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a table that references itself after an update in Power Query. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, we've got a small table here, and we're using Power Query to combine the first and last name here, right? So I've got a query here that does that. It's going to combine it. Now, I want to add a additional column here. And let's say I'll call this a comment column and maybe um, Ward, this person, likes fish, right? So let's say I like to have this in my updates. So if there's anything that changes in my source file, let's say that I, I don't know, I change the sort there. If I click refresh, you see that Ward likes fish here, but if I refresh it, you see that the comment, it stays here in this particular cell. This is the uh, fifth row, but it should be aligned to Ward Tours. Now, that's not ideal. What we want to do is we want to make it where if there's any changes here in terms of sorting or filtering, that particular comment that we did here stays consistent. So how we're going to do that is we're going to reference this table, the output table, into our original query and combine it. Undo this, undo this change, Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo that sort. Right, so we have Ward likes fish. What I need to do is I need to take this output table and turn it into a query. Let's see how we can do this. And I'll just start this really from scratch. Take this. Control C to copy, have a new worksheet, Control N for a new Excel workbook, paste this, All right? Now I've got my range of data here. Turn this into a table, or I can just click on data and from table and range. I'm within the range of data and Excel's smart enough to know that, oh, okay, A1 to C6, that seems like it's a table and it's gonna create a table and put it into Power Query. So click OK. My table does have headers. And we have our table here. What I need to do is I want to combine these two, first name and last name. Press the Shift key or Control key. Oh, there's only two columns. Right click and merge. We'll merge our columns. And we want to have the separator as a space. And we'll call this just name. Click OK and we have our name and we're going to load it to the table back here. We'll let's load it into cell F1. Table, we're going to put it in cell F1. Press enter, click OK, and now we have our combined name, first name and last name, right? So I had comments and for Ward I said likes fish, right? Likes fish. All right, so this is how we did it. And if I change the sort order, let's say we sorted from Z to A, and we did a data refresh here, like fish stays here, it should have been with Ward. All right, so let's see how we can do this. Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo. All right, and what we need to do, as I mentioned before, is we need to make this table reference itself. We're gonna bring this into Power Query. So I'm in the table, click from table and range. I'll call this one self refer. All right, and close and load. I'm just gonna close and load it as a connection, only create connection. Click okay. And let me go back into table one, right click edit and here, I am going to merge the other table that I just created, the self-refer table. Click on Merge Queries. And we have our unique ID. It's very important that we have a unique identifier for these tables. Here's my self-refer table. Click on that. Click OK. And we'll have our self-referencing table here. Click on the double-headed arrows. And all I want is the comment. Uncheck the original column name prefix, click OK, 
and now we have our comment there. Click close and load. It's going to load it back here. You'll see that it will have a secondary column because it sees two comment columns. We can just delete this one. Right click delete. And if I made any changes here, let's say I did the change here that I did earlier. I resorted it. And this should stay the same. War Tours, because he's ID number four, should have I likes fish. Click refresh. War Tour stays up there. It moves with his particular record. Let's say I change something else. Uh, number two, likes sushi. Press enter. That should stick with number two. If I rearrange the sort here, click refresh. Now number two, like sushi. Oh, let's refresh this again. We have our data here that is the same. War tour likes war likes fish. Dorette likes sushi. So that's a way that we can create a self-referencing table. Uh, if we had the output of Power Query, we wanted to add uh, some columns there and we want to refresh that to include that in our output. This is how you can do it by creating a connection only self-referencing table and merging it with the original table, which is that output. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.